Last week, I was in Vegas for SHOT Show 2017. That's the shooting industry's annual trade show. And just like every year, there was a ton of new stuff, but not really all that much that's truly groundbreaking, especially in the self-defense world. That said, I did see a few new things that caught my attention. I've done a pretty thorough write-up of that stuff on our blog, but here is the quick version. There were a ton of new revolvers on display. Ruger has an 8-shot 357 Red Hawk, which is enormous. They've also got a new 5-shot version of the GP100 in 44 Special. Smith & Wesson had at least a dozen new revolver variants on display, They've got a couple of new 3 inch 686 and 586 models. There's a short barreled version of the 986, which is the 7 shot L frame 9mm. There are a couple of performance center versions of the 642 with a very nice tuned action. But the one I was excited about was the new 2 and 3 quarter inch version of the Model 66. That's the 6 shot K frame 357 Magnum. If you followed my revolver series from a couple of years ago, you might remember that the 3 inch model. Model 66 is one of my favorite revolvers ever. So as much as I despise the Smith & Wesson internal safety lock, I'm having a hard time not being at least a little bit enthusiastic about this new one. Of course, the big talk of the revolver world at SHOT Show was the new upcoming Colt Cobra. This is the first Colt double action revolver made in a couple of decades, and they keep hinting that this is just the beginning of an entire lineup of new Colt revolvers. I have to admit, I'm a little skeptical about this, but I really want it to be good, so I'm keeping an open mind until they start shipping and I can try the final product for myself. There were also a lot of exciting new semi-autos on display at SHOT if you like polymer striker fired 9mm. CZ has their new P10C, which gives the Glock 19 some low priced competition. Ruger was showing the compact version of their American pistol, and there were several new variants of the SIG P320, including the competition oriented X series. Smith & Wesson had the new M&P 2.0 on display, which seems pretty nice, but I'll be more interested when they get around to making a 2.0 compact. Beretta was showing their excellent new PX4 Compact Carry 9mm. I mentioned this gun in my PX4 Compact review back in July, and it is now finally shipping. It's basically what the PX4 Compact should have been from the beginning, which is decock only with high visibility night sights, talon grip tape, low profile controls, improved trigger, and a gray Cerakoted slide. This first run is limited to just 1,500 pistols, but they seem to be selling really well, and I am told that there will most likely be a second batch. On the ammunition front, there is a new Federal HST self-defense load in 38 Special Plus P. They're using a 130 grain bullet that looks like a jacketed version of an inverted hollow base wad cutter. These are supposed to start shipping around April, and we will try to get some as soon as possible for some ballistic gelatin testing. Be sure to head over to our blog for more highlights from Show 2017. I've got a whole post dedicated to revolvers and another one about concealable pistols. And as always, if you want to support our channel, buy some ammo from luckygunner.com.